Hello everyone, today I'll show you some Alliance, Neutral and Horde Armor Winders in Classic WoW. And if you haven't already watched the video with the Weapon Winders, then I recommend you to check that out too. I've also added a timeline, so you can easily skip to the faction specific Winders that you're looking for. Anyway, enjoy the video. The first Winder that I'll show you right now is located in Lokmodan. Here you can buy different cloth items and this is useful for for example Warlock, Mages and Priest. You can also buy the same kind of items in Lakeshire in Red Ridge Mountains. If you head back to Loch Madan, you can go a bit to the east. Up here you will find a winter which sells two different pairs of boots. As you get closer to level 20, you can also buy four different kinds of shields in Lakeshire. Some of these are fairly decent for tanking and there's also a shield if you plan to heal as a paladin. Right next to Red Ridge, you'll find the zone Duskwood. And in Duskwood, you'll find the city Darkshire. In Darkshire, you'll be able to buy different kinds of cloaks and even some male legs. If you go back to Red Ridge Mountains and you go all the way to the east, you'll find this winter. Here, you'll be able to buy three different kinds of braces. All of these are leather braces. In Duskwallow Marsh, you will not only be able to buy weapons, but also different kind of leather and mail items. And some of these items are fairly decent for this level range. So I definitely recommend you to check out this winter. Next up is the neutral winters. And the first one is located in Ratchet in the Barrens. This winter is selling different kind of cloaks, even some mail leggings and also some different kind of shields. It's a lot easier for Horde to go to this location. So if you play Alliance, I would recommend you to check out the Alliance section because a lot of these winters is selling the same kind of items. The next one is located in Moonbrook in Westfall. And for Alliance, it's a lot easier for you to get to this location. The next NPC is located in Duskwood and this goblin is selling different kind of cloth and Hilton of hands. So if you play a caster, I would definitely recommend you to check out this NPC. In Hillsbred Foothills, there is a hidden NPC behind one of the broken buildings. This NPC is selling different kind of leather braces or leather legs. The level range of these items is in between level 20 and all the way up to level 24. The next winter is located in Stone Talon Mountains, right next to the Barrens. This goblin is selling different kind of cloth, leather and even mail items. So it's definitely worth it to check this out because there's a lot of different categories and a lot of different items as well. One thing that you have to know of is that this winter is surrounded by a lot of enemies. So it will be a bit difficult to access this one. If you go back to Hillspread Foothills, you can also find these two NPCs. The Goblin is selling some different kind of cloth belts and Hilton of hands. These two NPCs will walk in between the three marks in the red area. When you reach level 36 or 39, you can head to Swamp of Sorrows. Here you can buy two different cloaks and both of these will provide you with a lot of stamina. When you get to level 37, you can also go to Booty Bay in Stranglethorn Vale and buy this male build. And the last neutral winter that I'm about to show you is located in Moonglade and here you can buy a level 39 cloak with 10 stamina. Next up is the Horde Winters. And this first one is located at this location in Silver Pine Forest. Here you can buy three different kinds of cloth items. If these cloth items has already been bought, then you can also head to Barrens. And at this winter, you can buy the same kind of items. Right next to this goblin, you can find another goblin, which is selling two different kind of leather boots. The first one will give you stamina and the other one will provide you with agility. There's even a third option to get the cloth items and that is in Crossroads in the Barrens. And if you would like to get a cloak, you can also buy some different cloaks at this winter. While you're in Barrens, I would also recommend you to go a bit more north. Up here you can find a hidden NPC and this NPC is selling different weapons but also cloaks and even some male legs. In Feralas, you can also buy a level 36 and 39 cloak. Both of these have stamina and you can buy them in this camp 
from this tower. When you reach level 41, you can also head to Okrama and buy these club legs. These level 41 club legs will give you a lot of intellect and spirit. In Swamp of Sorrows, in Stone Art, you can buy the Cinder club legs, but also the level 41 leggings that I showed you before in Okrama. Some of these vendors will be useful when you're leveling, especially if you play in a hardcore guild where you're not allowed to use the auction house. If you would like to see more classic videos, so for example gold making guides or class guides, make sure to check out the channel. I'll also continue to post even more classic content in the future. As always, thank you for watching and have an amazing day. Peace.